there are Circassians who are J2B L283. Actually, uh, there is a nine, at least 900-year-old Circassian subclade of J2B L283. Uh, both of the men in this subclade uh, are speakers of Adige language, which is a Northwest Caucasian language, and more specifically, it's a West Circassian language within that. Um, the Northwest Caucasian languages, there's two families. One of the families is called Circassian, uh, and the other is called uh, Abazgi. Uh, the Circassians suffered a genocide at the hands of the Russian Empire in the 1860s. Here you can see where the different Northwest Caucasian languages are spoken today. Um, Adigea is in the, in the Northwest of this map is where the Adige languages are spoken and where the J2BL283 men um, that I'm talking about are from, uh, or, or that's the language that they speak. And I think one of them traces to cabardino balkaria but the other traces to Adigea. Um, and then you can see in orange below in the internationally recognized boundary of Georgia, the region called Abkhazia. This is where the uh, cousin language uh, Abkhazian or Abazgi is uh, spoken. Here you can see the Circassian branch on the y full Y tree. They are the brother line to a mostly found in Albanian line, and I think it's the most prolific uh, Albanian line of J2BL283, known as JPH4679. They are the brother line of this uh, mostly Albanian uh, line of J2BL283. Their line is called J. Y305471, and they share a common SNP with this uh, mostly Albanian brother line, and that SNP is called Y21045. So Y21045 is a child of Z638. This is one of the major branching points of uh, surviving lines of J2BL283. And um, uh, prior to the discovery of some of the more uh, recent major lineages of J2BL283 uh, fully formed among the Yamnaya population of Moldova, um, I had assumed that most of the uh, surviving major lines of J2BL283 had uh, been formed in the Balkans, but um, I was wrong. And it turns out that at least um, some of these lines that are 4,200 years old or, or uh, maybe even younger ones than that um, were not formed in the Balkans, but uh, either either in Moldova or, or possibly in, in the North Caucasus itself, which is where the uh, oldest ancient sample found so far are from uh, ZO1002, Zolotaryovka. <clears throat> this map, by the way, is maintained by Flor Vesely. I just took a screenshot of it and added labels so you could see all of the samples at once. Um, so what's interesting is that the uh, Adigea Republic of Russia, um, where the Adigea language is spoken, where these two samples, that's the language they speak, uh, that it's not so far from these um, two other ancient samples, Zolotaryovka uh, from the fourth millennium BCE, and then a, a bit later ancient sample, which used to be back in the day uh, our oldest known J2BL283 sample, KDC001 uh, from Nalchik, um, Kabardino Balkaria. So Adige is not so far from these places. And uh, so what's really, what's really interesting now is that uh, given that the most recent common ancestor between these Circassians, West Circassians in our haplogroup, and their um, Albanian brother line, the most recent common ancestor may have actually been living uh, as far back as 4,200 years ago or about 2,200 BCE or maybe maybe just 2000 BCE. Um, this is not Weifel's estimate. This is just me 
maybe doing my own refinement of what Weifel's estimate is. Because uh, Z638, which is the parent of this uh, Y21045, which is the, uh, the itself is the parent of the Circassians and the Albanian line, uh, Z638 has a most recent common ancestor estimated to have lived 2200 BCE. This is both Weifel and FTDNA's estimate is the same for Z638. And so if that is accurate, then the child Y21045, which is defined by a single SNP, uh, might only have lived about 100 years later. So maybe let's say that, uh, that this uh, most recent common ancestor between the Albanians and the Circassians lived about 2100 BCE. This is different than Weifel's estimate of the TMRCA. Um, they have 1500 BCE. But anyway, because, because it's so far back in time uh, as maybe about 2100 BCE, these, this line that would later become Albanians, they may have migrated after that time. What I'm saying is I think that it may be the mo most likely explanation is that this line originated in the North Caucasus or, or the steppes immediately north of the North Caucasus. Uh, and, uh, and so in that case, the, the Circassians or West Circassians, to be specific, these two samples that are so far found positive for the subclay, they may be a remnant. Uh, their ancestors had been living in that approximate area since the time of the Yamnaya, uh, which was the group that they um, uh, belonged to. And then this line, this line uh, that later became Albanians, they just migrated west, just like all these other lines of J2BL283 that survived today in the Balkans. Um, I think that this is uh, the most likely explanation. Bec uh, and the, and the, one of the main reason that I think that is because a fully formed Z597 sample was found in uh, ancient uh, Moldova, uh, this sample that you see on the map, dating to 2600 to 2200 BCE. And this line, J2B Z597, it has a TMRCA that lived uh, 2500 BCE. So um, we are, if we're already assuming that this line uh, originated in that area, or maybe even further east, uh, in 2500 BCE, then it's not really, I don't see it as a huge stretch that just 400 years later, another line was still in this area, not in the Balkans, but further east. Uh, so that's why I think that the, um, and, and, and this migration further west, it's still, it's still far enough back in time to fit when, when groups of Yamaya were migrating into um, the Balkans and Central Europe. It makes sense that we have J2B L283 found in Circassians because the other male line that is found in ancient Yamnaya samples, R1B Z2103, is also found in Circassian speakers. Uh, so, uh, so to be clear, um, th this the ancient people that were living in that exact area, uh, we're talking about the Maikop culture, if you're talking about that particular point in time, further back, uh, that was contemporaneous with uh, the Yamnaya, these these people did not have J2BL283 so so far found. Uh, so um, to be specific, I am talking about an intrusion of J2BL283 into this area. Um, so that's all I have for this update. And uh, but I will mention if you're interested in the North Caucasus, then uh, check out my Patreon. Um, the next topic that I'm going to write an article on is the Dolmen culture of the Caucasus with new late Bronze Age ancient samples from uh, Galici et Ali, a uh, paper from 2024. 
This was voted on by my Patreon supporters and uh, anybody who is um, supporting me on Patreon will have early access, 30 days early access to the article that I will write about this in March. If you enjoy my content, either about J2B L283 or about other topics that I've covered, um, or if you like to use my genetic genealogy analytical tools like STR Match Finder, um, HRAS, which makes um, relative frequency diversity maps, um, migration paths, if, if you want to support my work, you, you can join my Patreon. There's different tiers. You get to vote on different things. You can um, suggest topics that I will cover every month. Uh, and every two months, I will work on a feature. And um, different tiers will be able to suggest and vote on which feature I should work on. That means like what software I will write that will um, help you uh, do some analytical thing with your YDNA or MPDNA. Uh, and there's a code. I created a discount code for the next seven days. Thanks for watching. If you watched it to the end, I know most people don't watch things to the end. Discount code is 7B69A. 7B69A. You'll get the first month 50% off.